This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. I don't. I don't understand the context of your question, Dave. But, uh, well, are you familiar? Do you have any others you'd like to ask me? Or? Well, I, personally, I don't think that you um, actually believe the Free Staters minor celebrity, Amanda Billy Rock Johnson. She's seen here in better times. When all she had to worry about was her friends being threatened with armored trucks. Now she's in the crosshairs after a traffic stop that went south in Laconia. I'll cut to the chase and kill the suspense for you. All five charges are completely false. Authorities charged her with five different crimes, the most serious of which would have been driving under the influence, the most questionable of which assuming they were even true, would be her disobeying an officer charge. Is disobeying an officer even a crime? I had no idea that it was. Tell me what the RSA is in New Hampshire, because I've never heard of one. But first, let's acknowledge the elephant in the room here. Immediately after her one-day uh, one arrest, or one-day incarceration, I should say, she posts a video of pretty much, I guess, the entire encounter. I've only seen the first part of the video because shortly after it went up, it came right back down. There was roughly a three-day blackout where she seemed to be saying nothing, and then she posted this video, which is basically just a denial of the charges. It does not mention, and as of December 20th, I don't think she has mentioned why she took down the video of the arrest and the inappropriate interrogation which preceded it. I say inappropriate because it appears that the Laconia officers were threatening her over the simple refusal to provide an, uh, you know, answers to their questions. But anyway, my question here in terms of the transparency issue. What tragedies, what horrors. Churchill used to say prudence and audacity a prudence and audacity may be alternated, but never mixed. PD to get a Freedom of Information Act. Generally, you want to go all the way fighting the authorities through PR when they come after you. Or you want to go all the way with trying to avoid hacking them off. Generally, the latter course is the one that lawyers like. And this situation has triggered, uh, more than any other I've seen so far, a useful debate in the Free Stater commu uh, community over that very subject. Do you go out all out with PR to defend yourself or not? I've finally bumped into a really insightful articulation of this latter point of view. Now, I'm more of the PR point of view person, I believe, in using PR to defend yourself. And the lawyer pretty much needs to fit into that as best he can. I probably wouldn't pick a lawyer that tried to systematically discourage the use of the PR weapon. But uh, uh, there's a, a activist, New Hampshire activist uh, named Brandon Ross, who is, I don't know exactly what his status is, how deep he is into the legal school, or if he's a lawyer now, or a paralegal, or whatever. But he, he's always struck me as competent and articulate. And I want you to hear what he has to say in favor of the, I guess what we'll call the prudence approach, the inside the system, legal, lawyer up, stay quiet approach. Ross says, quote, if rule number one is that you don't talk to the police, rule number two might be not to make public statements, personally, and on video, both rules being specific embodiments of the general principle STFU. So, as a learning experience, let me tell you what a prosecutor first sees, whether it is correct or not. If you say that you did not have an open container and had no knowledge that your passengers did either, but you shake your head no while you're saying it, you deliver it with flat effect. My first impression is that you're not quite believing what you're saying. Coupled with a denial that there was no alcohol in your car immediately followed by a tacit admission that there may have been alcohol in the vehicle, carried by a passenger, followed by a separating hand motion. Now, I interpret that you also don't believe what you're saying, but 
you're choosing to ignore an inconvenient fact. I observe a similar response on the DUI issue, a denial of impairment only, but not a denial of alcohol consumption. Head shaking, delivered with relatively flat effect. Compare those to the denial of having a controlled substance. I'm sorry, compare that to the denial of having controlled substances. That the police goofed because they were prescription meds. Factually explaining with head nodding and a more excited tone with a tinge of righteous indignation, which is an appropriate response for someone who thinks she's done nothing wrong. And as a prosecutor, I know that's a very easy offense for a charge-hungry officer to pile on. I then observed the same behavior with the explanation of disobeying an officer. Detailed, factual explanation. Elevated effect, indignation, fluid facial expression, speaking with hands. I'm not worried about the resisting arrest charge because that's very easy to prove. Now, I am the prosecutor. I am going to see this video. On which charges should I choose to twist the screws? Point. When you hear anything you say can be used against you, that doesn't stop when you leave a police station. Until a final resolution is had, there are only three people you should confide in. Your spouse, your deity of choice, and your lawyer. And you should think really hard about the first two. Unquote. Okay, so that's Brandon Ross. He's sort of making it sound like he's the prosecutor. He's not the prosecutor, in case you got confused by, by his message. He's just saying that's how he would look at it if you were the prosecutor. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please, starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com.